Hey everybody, Mike here with a new video for you. Today's video, I'm going to go ahead and show you my sales for the month of August on eBay. So let's get on over and uh, see what goodies I sold. All right, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the items, the price that it's sold for, and if there was any shipping involved, and then give you a total of, of it and then shipped. So the first item is this Harley Davidson Apple iPhone 6 bar and shield cell phone cover. Um, I sold that for $12.99 and the buyer chose the uh, priority mail option. They wanted it fast. So it was $12.99 plus $6.50 for shipping and handling for a total of $19.49 shipped. The next item sold this Harley Davidson girls zero to three months one piece outfit. It's got the Harley Davidson bar and shield all throughout it. Um, this one sold for 99 cents plus 4.95 shipping and handling for a total of 5.94 shipped. The next item was sold was this Z Hunter Zombie Killer Tactical Spring Assist Pocket Knife. Um, now what happened here was I sold three of them to the same same buyer, uh, but what happened was I didn't get the 10.79 a piece. What I did was when I was running a 50% off sale for some other items. Um, this one made it in there somehow. So this guy got a really good deal. He got three knives for $16.17 and $2.95 shipping and handling for a total of $19.12 shipped. So my advice to those of you that sell on eBay is if you're already running an existing sale or you've reduced your prices on the, using the Markdown Manager, um, and you've got something going for 50 cent, uh, 50 percent off, uh, double check and just don't think that everything's uh, cool. Cause I just had a brain fart and I could have got more for this knife. It's worth more, but, uh, you know, I screwed up and, uh, he saved some money and bought three knives. So we'll go ahead and we've learned from that. And now we'll move on to the next one. Next item is the Lance ski red spider croc stick sharpener medium grit um this was uh one of the items that i had put on for 50 percent off <clears throat> excuse me so it didn't sell for 8.95 it sold for 4.97 plus 2.95 shipping and handling for a total of seven dollars and 92 cents shipped the next item uh also was on a 50 percent off sale is this uh, four-in-one carpenter's tape measure and pocket screwdriver combo. So you, you, you got this nice little combo set, and it came with this screwdriver. And that was 50% off, and it sold for $4.79 plus $2.95 shipping and handling for a total of $7.74 shipped. So the next item is this Zycar round digital hygrometer. Model 832XI. I uh, got uh, sold it for $20.79 and 325 shipping and handling for a total of $24.04 shipped. The next item is a cigar cutter rosewood bullet keychain punch. And uh, that one went for $8.99 plus $325 shipping and handling. For a total of $12.24 shipped. The uh, next item is uh, I sold a used Samsung Galaxy S3 16 gigabyte blue. With this phone was on the Sprint network, and it had a clean ESN number. But I, or, yeah, and I just sold it for for parts um, because the battery. I stated in the listing that the battery uh, wouldn't wasn't holding a very long charge, so they need to buy a battery. So I sold it as parts. Um, I had it up for $29.99 uh, with best uh, buy it now or best offer. And I took an offer of $14.99 and that plus the $5.95 for shipping and handling sold for, went for $20.94 shipped. Next item is this uh, Kiss Remastered by Kiss CD 1979 Casablanca. Um, it was up for $6.99 buy it now best offer. And the uh, buyer came, customer came back and asked uh, if I'd take $3.05 plus the two ninety-five 
shipping and handling for for six dollars because he didn't want to spend more than six dollars on the disc. So I said sure. So I took it. So I got the three three dollars and five cents plus two ninety five, and he got his CD for six dollars shipped. It's always good to try to make your customers happy because they may come back, you know, and that's what you want. You want repeat business. Now this, I'm sure some of you all might remember this. This was in the uh, jewelry jar that I won from uh, Tanya, Thrifty Treasures, during her auction on Mothership Products. Auction, uh, she was like the second uh, seller or reseller to come on there. And uh, I think you guys will remember the video I said when I did the show and tell was I called this my pimping ring. So anyway, uh, I decided to try this picture in picture like and Andy Parrothead Picker does on his uh, shirts. And, you know, it looked pretty nice. And then I have I just, you know, I have each one, you know, I did. I did them like they're separate and then I, I joined them together and I showed, you know, there was a lot of there was some wear on the on the plating. And uh, that's cool. So I put it up. You know, people said, I oh, should just give that to Goodwill or something. And I, I put it up for nine ninety nine. I ran a 50% um, off sale and I saw it wasn't moving in a couple of weeks. So after a couple of weeks of running, so it went for $4.99 plus $2.95 shipping and handling for $7.94 shipped. So this was the piece of jewelry that popped my jewelry cherry. Um, and so now I've got more jewelry to put up and, and I'm working through it. So just want to let you guys know that that came from my uh, auction win on the jewelry jar with Tanya. The next item is from the first or second auction that I attended. This one is the Freaky Flyers PS2 Sony PlayStation game complete case with book. And uh, this one came from uh, Chris Walk and Picker. I picked up a bunch of, of uh, games from him along with some other stuff. And so I put it up for $5.99 and a lot of other people had them priced lower and they were doing it with free shipping. And I saw, decided, you know what, I'm not doing any more free shipping on anything. So I had it up for $5.99 and I did a 50% off sale. And it sold for $2.99 plus $2.95 shipping and handling for a total of $5.94 shipped. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And it was from one of the MSP auctions. The next item was, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Coloris or Colors by Alexander Julian Silk Necktie. Um, I've had this thing up for I don't know how long, and I just wanted it gone, and it wouldn't sell for my, I mean, I had prices all over the place trying it. So finally, I put it up on uh, on auction for 79 cents, got one bid, and it sold for 79 with 2.95 shipping and handling for a total of $3.74 shipped. Next item is a four scotch BX90 normal bias blank audio cassette tapes. New sealed. Now, what I have is I have a cassette player, a cassette deck that I use to uh, play any cassettes that I pick up through either people picking them for me or I happen to go to a thrift store or a garage sale or I buy them somewhere else really cheap and I needed a head cleaner. So this thing came with a head cleaner and I bought that and then I thought, well, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and turn around and get rid of the cassettes because I'm not going to make any uh, mixed tapes because everything's on CD, right? So I had it up at nine, uh, nine ninety nine, and $4.95 shipping and I took a best offer of $4. So it sold for $4 plus $4.95 shipping and handling for $8.95 shipped. Excuse me. That's not uh, too bad when you consider all I wanted was the cleaner. So, you know, made a little jingle out of that. The next item up uh, was a uh, right edge rosewood folding pocket knife, um, plus a free knife. It came with, uh, I added this uh, this uh, pocket knife here with the uh, zebra wood, and then there's this rosewood. And this one I've had for a long time. Matter of fact, I even forgot I had it, and I had it here. So I put it up for uh, $8.95, kind of hung around for a while, I put it on a 15% off sale. And it sold for $7.61 plus $3.95 for a total of $11.56 shipped. The next item, this, is, it, is the proper way to say it, Dooney? 
Dooney and Burke. Key ring, key chain, brown leather. And, uh, you know, in the photos I showed that it's got some wear. This item came from the Mothership product auctions that I attended, where uh, Chad and Kim uh, Pagel, Golden Finger Picker, uh, put his stuff up. This was in that um, purple uh, Crown Royal bag. So I checked around on prices, and they new ones were selling for, oh my, you could get ones that were brand new for selling for like 35 bucks, and then people were just like giving them away, and I thought, well, I'm going to find a middle-of-the-road price. I thought it was still a decent keychain. Uh, so I put it up for 10 bucks. And guy came back and I took a best offer of eight dollars, and then with the two ninety five shipping, it went for ten dollars and ninety five cents shipped. So that's another item from the uh, Mothership product auctions. Uh, this is another item from Mothership product uh, auctions. This was the one with uh, John and Whitney from uh, the Cincinnati Pickers. Um, this was in the mystery box that I bought. Or that I won, and I did a little research. I don't didn't know much about these, but I know some people that have them with like rainbow stripes, and some don't have any stripes. And this one had a red, so I searched for when I found uh, some selling with the red stripe. They were going for like some insane prices, but those were ones that were tested, and I had no way of testing this. Don't have any film. It didn't have the strap, and then as you can see, maybe in this picture here. Maybe, there was uh, there was some uh, scratched writing. It was kind of messed up. There was something wrong with it, like, or was it on the back of this one? I think it was right here. Here's where it was. See, somebody had their name. So I thought, well, I'm not going to ask too much for it. So I put it up for uh, uh, $18.99. Buy it now, best offer. And... Uh, this, I mean, I had this thing up. This this item was up for a total of eight minutes. I, I kid you not. Eight minutes. It was it was on for eight minutes, and in that eight minutes, I took a best offer. I, I got an offer of fourteen. I counted with sixteen, and they accepted. And with the twelve seventy five shipping and handling, I sold it for twenty eight dollars and seventy five cents. Under in, in eight minutes, under nine minutes, I sold it. It was just crazy. I'd never seen anything like that. So uh, I won a couple of more cameras from uh, another Mothership product auction. And uh, we're going to see if I can beat the record at, for me, eight minutes. But anyway, nice buy on my part from an auction and uh, in the resale, and it went quick. The next item, again, this is from the Mothership product auctions, was with the Chad and Kim Bagel, Pagel on uh, Goldfinger Picker on their during their auction with Dwayne. And uh, this was in the, uh, I don't remember if it was in the purple bag or it was just kind of floating around. But I had a charge, it didn't come with a charging cable and it didn't wasn't doing anything. So I had a cable laying around. I plugged it in, I tried charging it, and I found out that the screen was just flickering. Now I don't know anything about these iPads, but I do know this was a Gen 5 and it comes with a camera. And when I first looked at it, used ones could sell for as much as 60 bucks. But this thing, the screen was flickering, and I didn't know anything about it. So I went ahead and researched a little bit, and it was called backlighting. So I just put it up, like it says up there, bad backlight, as is for parts only. I had it on auction. I think I started it out at, at like a buck, and then $15 buy it now, and then the uh, $3.95 shipping and handling. And it took four bids, and it sold for $1.75 with the uh, $3.95 shipping and handling on auction for $5.70 shipped. The next items, I'm going to just go down the line, and then I'll tell you what, what happened with these. Sold a Game Boy Advance Nintendo game, the Wild Thornberry's Chimp Chase, uh, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, Rocket Power Beach Bandit Nintendo game, Texas Hold'em Poker for the Game Boy. Uh, Rocket Power Dream Scheme. X Blades. This one was pretty rough. It was in pretty bad shape. I mean, it was it was ugly. But anyway, sold that one. 
then I sold the uh, Nintendo X game skateboard and then the uh, Ravens that's so Raven there was a, a one and a two to this and then the uh, F18 F A 18 F fighter and Power Rangers Dino Thunder now this uh, a buyer came to me and asked if if he because these were all on buy it nows and I just wanted to get rid of them and uh, he asked me he said if I uh, if, if he bought them bought them all at the buy it now price without making an offer would I combine shipping and I said sure I'll combine shipping just go ahead and make your purchase and then wait for me to send you an invoice and I'll do the combined shipping and uh, he pulled the trigger on all those and he paid immediately and when I got the notice from PayPal that you're you know you received money it showed uh, 1541 for the games and 29 something for shipping so I was like man dude you sh you're supposed to wait so I went ahead I printed up the shipping and then I refunded them everything but the uh, four four I think it was 495 yeah 495 that we agreed on for the combined shipping and he got back a nice little chunk, like $24 and some change. I let him know that I refunded it, and he was happy. So it sold for $15.41 for all them games. And they ranged between $0.99 cents to $2.50. And with $4.95 shipping and handling for a total of $20.36 shipped. And the last item, which I think is pretty cool, came out of the blue bag. What a purple bag that I got from Chad during his auction. And uh, he had two Pokemon cards in there. So I just went and did some research and uh, found out this is what that card was. Looked where all the numbers were. Copied, you know, sold, did the cell similar. And I had it up for a dollar auction. Buy it now, $250 and $295 shipping and handling. And they used to buy it now. And they got this card for. Two dollars and fifty cents plus two ninety five shipping and handling for a total of five dollars and forty five cents shipped. So that's it, folks, for the for the auction sales for August for me. Um, I just want to make a note here that you know when I bought the stuff on the auctions, some of it I had no intention of selling, and then. Like I say, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in all of them, and I'm still going through them, and I still have another auction from uh, not last Saturday because that's when I did my auction, but and my daughter did our auction, but the auction before that from uh, a Five Day Flipper. I mean, I haven't even had a chance to go through that box yet, but I did kind of look at it, and there's all kinds of cool items in there, and they're going to make it up here for sale. But I guess the point I'm making is, have fun when you go to those auctions, and know that some of that stuff. I mean. Granted, I probably overspent on a lot of it, but a lot of it all, too, was the charities. You know, they're good charities. And so, uh, you know, trying to support the community and get it going. And I'm just letting you know that even something that, like, I was told, like, get rid of the Pokemon cards when I mentioned to somebody. Just give them the goodwill. And and then uh, there was a couple of other items, uh, like that uh, keychain, you know, because it was messed up. And I was like, why? Oh, and that ring, that big, god-awful pimp ring. I can't believe that thing sold. But, you know, the, the whole point was, why not? Why not put it up there? You know, if you do your pictures right, do the titles right, and you're fair with the price. I mean, even with shipping, they were buying. So I got more treasures to dig through. I'm going to put them up, and we'll see what happens, you know, as the, as the time goes on and we get close to the fourth quarter. Um, again, you know, it's not like killer. I'm not, not crushing it, not hitting any grand slams, no ten thousand dollars a month or any of that but you all know my story that's not the purpose of what i do and why i do it you know i do it to show those with disabilities that hey you can still make some money you can still be valuable you can still be a viable asset to your family and and all and there's no reason to just sit around and not do nothing so you know you guys that are listening to this my subscribers um that are in the same situation that i'm in and just list and sell 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 and uh you'll find out like i'm doing hey i can pay a little bit on a card get it down get out of debt 
And like I say, it's always about the pizza or the cheeseburger. And lately it was uh, Chinese takeout. So, and you know how Chinese takeout is, guys. I mean, you can order the, the, the meal for two. And then you end up buying all the sides because the stuff just tastes so good. And so, you know, you end up dropping 30, 40 bucks on Chinese takeout. Of course, though, you can eat it, though, for a couple of days afterwards. It's always good cold. But the point I'm making is this. Find your items, take some good pictures, use some good keywords, do your research and list. And, and don't worry about trying to find that $1 item or 50 cent item that sells for 1000 or sells for 500 bucks or even 30 bucks. You know, volume, when you sell volume, volume works, man. You'll be surprised how it all adds up. So anyway, that's it for today's video. If you found it informative, uh, you know, give thumbs up, like, leave your comments down below. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can leave them down below. If you don't want to leave them down below for the whole world to look at, you can send your questions to askmike at yahoo.com or use the message system through the uh, YouTube, through my YouTube channel. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and uh, pass this channel on to uh, somebody you think that might be able to get some use out of it or, or learn something. You know, and I appreciate those that are subscribed. I, pre I appreciate my subscribers. Y'all are great people. Uh, and thanks for supporting this channel because it gives me the drive to keep wanting to do more and to share more as I learn things. So with that said, I ask God to bless every one of you with great health, much success, happy family, happy kids, happy life, a lot of sales, and also to protect those that are in the path of Hurricane Irma. Uh, folks, if you happen to be watching this on your smart device, man, listen to what they're telling you. Get the heck out of Florida. Don't play with this one. This one is bad. It's nasty. So, you know, you can always get new possessions, but you can't get new family. You know, so pack your stuff up and go. And we'll ask God to, to, to bless you while you're away from your home and to put a hedge of protection around your house or wherever you live and to protect protect your assets and your and the things that you own and to protect your family. So y'all have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Rolling Picker out.